Hello, hello, hello. So, as you can tell by the title, this is to refill. Refill. Oh my God, why do I always do that? This is to fulfill the celebrity reading request on Mr. Jack Slousberg. Is that how you say it? Slouch. <laughs> Slousberg. Sloss. Slousberg. <laughs> Um, this is the grandson of John F. Kennedy here. Yeah, you heard it correctly. So thank you very much for that request. I'm not sure if she would like her name to be public or not, so we won't go there. So let's take a look at Mr. Uh, Slosberg here. Um, what I will say is uh, when I tap into his energy, um, I went to look at like a two or four minute clip of, of him just to get a feel of his energy. And I heard his voice and then his picture flashed in front of me and I said, whoa, <laughs> the apples don't fall too far from the trees. A very handsome guy. If what, who I saw was him, <laughs> um, you know, and then I did see his age and I'm like, yeah, I think it was him. Cause he did look around that age. So yeah, very, um, handsome guy here. So let's see what's up with him. Let's see what he has going on. What's next for him? Is he going to be into politics? Will he take another turn? Is there some surprises that Mr. Slossberg may have for us or Sloss? Sloss. Sloss. Slossberg. Sloss. I like Sloss. We'll go with that. <laughs> It's just so, you know, but anyway, welcome to my newbies. Hello to my oldies. My name is Diamond and you are watching Pretty Blind Eyes. The readings held on this channel are for entertainment purposes only. The discussions held on this channel should not be taken as literal advice. I am legally blind, so I do read Brillo my cards to decipher what they are, but I'm an overall intuitive reader. In the description box below, you can find several ways to interact with me, one of which is um, an email for you to send in your celebrity request. Um, there's also a thanks button for any of you who would like to contribute to the channel. And there is a calendar for any of you who would like personal readings. That calendar is open. Thank you guys for all the love, support, gifts, donations, journeying with me and patience. Please be sure to get your booties over that over to that community tab so that you can weigh in on the polls that are, that have been posted um, to see where we will be going next on the channel and how we can expand here. All right, Mr. Slossberg, let's check you out. Um, I'm hearing commemoration here. There is a lot of um, patience that he has around him. There is something that it appears he's sitting around waiting for to unfold that could tie into the family. Um, it doesn't feel uh, conniving or anything like that, but there is this, uh, they're saying protocol or some type of thing that's being done in chronological order or, well, I'm not going to say chronological order because that could be just um, when we're talking just basically generic, basic generic time. What I mean is like, um, it feels like the next line in order when we are talking line lineage or something that he's aware of. There's this loophole that he has caught on to throughout his studies and his comparison to what's been going on in the family and then what's been going on um, in society and what's being taught in the um in these schools, these universities and things like that. It does look like he did learn some interesting things while studying in Harvard. There has been, um, feels like some stories and stuff that he has heard from um, certain professors. Like, so it looks like some letters or something could have been left behind or he, he get, like their library seems to be a lot different from the libraries that you'll find in the public and that you'll find in other colleges as well. The type of access that they have, he, it feels like he has been using that to his advantage. Um, there seems to be some femininity around him. Now this could just be his energy. He could be more tapped into his feminine energy or he could have a specific preference. Um, but right now we'll just go off of his energy. Um, he, because there is some privacy around, um, the way he maneuvers and, and what he likes to expose because it does, it do feel like a tie into, um, his, his energy, like the way he's tapped into femininity, very intellectual guy. He feels like he connects very well with women. Um, but once again, it's like they're showing the guy from off of, uh, the past. Now he's not that weird, you know? Okay. So, you know, you had the father who was like a hunter and he liked to c cut off the heads of, uh, well, he would, uh, pay guys to come over to his Island and then he'll hunt them. Like he liked to hunt humans for fun. And then he would eventually kill them and put them on, put the heads on like, um, these little, um, panels and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, to keep for, uh, like, like trophies. And then, um, 
the son didn't want to do that. The son was different. The son enjoyed studying stuff, reading and all that kind of stuff. Not sure of what happened to the mom, um, but the mom wasn't around. I don't even think they had a backstory for that in this particular movie. But yeah, with him, it's he's a silent mover, it feels, but for good reason. It feels like he has some very sweet and gentle surprises surprises for us they're showing the age of 35 um there may be a commemoration or something that may come in um when he turns 35 and wasn't jfk like the 35th president or was that the father the father of the father but anyway um yeah 35 looks very significant to him in that way um once again, I am seeing a ring. I'm not sure if he's going to uh, like get this ring later on too as well, or if this is something that he, he wears. Now, it gives off um, high societal kind of, not high, well, yeah, high societal kind of energy, but also I'm hearing honor society as well as like a uh, secret society type of energy too. I'm seeing a uh, skull and bones here as well. I'm not sure if he pledged at all, but, um, he very feminine energy, very feminine energy. So that, you know, that could go in any kind of way, but very handsome guy to say the least. All right. So let's take a look at salsa and see what else he has going on. But those things are just being vomited out towards me. <laughs> Sorry, probably a poor term for description, but <laughs> it was coming out like that. Right. I, I just do. I get like scholarly energy here. Um, he could be working on a they're saying like a peer review, but I, I would say like a, you know, those are scholar uh, like journals um, or he's exploring this database or he's helping to update it or something like that. Um, so a lot of great writing skills here um, that he'll continue to um, prosper in is what they're saying. I'm not, listen, I'm gonna tell you now what I am getting so far is he has his love life blocked off and I do feel like it's for good reason. It could be, it could be something about it that people would not agree with or something like it's, it's something like that. It, it has to do with a preference that may not be accepted, you know, and let's just, um, and so let's see what comes up and then we can look at his love or we can look at his love now. Let's see what comes up though. Okay. So with the nine of cups here and the high priest is here. In the uh, hierophant here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that looks good. That's balanced. Um, marrying the two here, tower card. All right, so uh, king of cups here, three of cups. <sighs> mm, mm, yeah, I don't even know if this is going to be a problem though. He may remain private forever. Um, but I don't know. He he might get pressed to be free in a different kind of way. Let's keep looking. Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Swords and the King of Swords. Oh. Mm. There's something he needs to be careful about. Someone um gonna is gonna bring him like this innovative idea or something like that. There is a partnership here that um a nine of swords here. It, it just kind of might. Okay. Hold on. There is reciprocation. Let me, let me make it clear. Let me get this, let me get this going, but I don't think this person is, um, huh, he may not, I don't know. I don't know if he, if he'd be good for, you know, who else are they showing? I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell you, I'm just telling y'all what, what to come to me. I'm not trying to put anything on him, but they're showing, um, uh, Sid, what's his name? Sid. They're showing the guy from off of, scandal olivia pope's friend he worked in the white house too but i think he had a boyfriend you know what i'm saying i i think you know uh let me see eight of wands ten of cups mm. five of cups <sighs> it's an energy of like you know what's so interesting because i just want i really do i just want general uh, messages or whatever, just to see what spirit takes us. But there is some confliction around partnership. It's not toxic. It's not. Uh, let me make sure he don't. He need to watch. I don't. One minute I feel like he needs to watch this person in partnership, or that could come in for him, or or either it's just he he thinks he does, but he may not. But because these are new beginnings here, it's the ones, it's the pinnacles, seven of cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups. <laughs> yeah, this is all good for him. But then there's like a little bit of shame around something. Been around the world. Yeah, um, I'm getting like Paris energy as well. Um, some type of um, 
south of France here is what I'm getting. Yeah, very upscale. Empress card with the Queen of Cups here is a baby at the Knight, Knight of Cups. What is that that's going on right there? Three of Pentacles here. Death card. And the Six of Cups. Um, this looks like childhood stuff for him. Something. Excuse me. Excuse me, channeling. I don't I don't know if something was sent. Excuse me. Something looks like either that was dear to him was sent away or he he. Oh Lord. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> There's so many mysteries here. Let me I'm gonna have to turn it up a little bit. See, I was trying to come in all soft on this, but uh uh. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see here. Spirit. Can we get some uh construction here can we get some organization here because uh a lot of secrets going on i'm not one to invade anyone's privacy but uh for the sake of content give us something <laughs> i get it i totally get it thanks for using me as a demonstration now let's get to some content here let's see what's going on all right, so what I will tell you is if we stay on the work stuff, it's going to get boring. It's going to get very boring because it's like um, what this is for him because of that is because this is what is expected of him. The justice system, all that, you know, all the kind of stuff like law and politics and all. Yeah, da, da, da. that's not like, you know, that's not where the real juice is. Strength card with it. Yeah, OK, so it is. He do kind of want to be free, but he got a whole plan behind it. It doesn't feel like manipulation or like cannabis energy at all. It feels, once again, they're, they're showing 35, like something is very pivotal for him at that age. Now, that little boy, that was a little boy version of himself there. Um, it, it looks like an energy of when someone catches you doing something that's, oh my God. I don't, y'all, I don't know if I want to be all up in this like this because it feels so private. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to put nothing on anyone either. I, I don't know. I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, moon card here. Yeah, there's a secrets and preference with his femininity. And what I was going to say is, you know, they, they like showed like something he did during his childhood that um, may have pointed more into the direction of what his interest could have been. It's like catching a boy playing with uh, Barbies or something like that, you know? Um, two of Swords. He doesn't look like he was uh, Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, see? Two of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Legacy, the Family card. He doesn't look like he... I'm hearing rambunctious here. It's weird. It's like I see him running around. You know how boys sometimes run around in their little underwear? You know, he looks younger doing that. He has a cape on. You know, he had an imagination. Um, it's giving comic type of energy. Um, it was, he is different. He is different. He's very different. Um, and I wouldn't even say in comparison to, to the other boys like Ted, Bobby, and, and Jack. <laughs> they sound like a singing group. <laughs> He, he, what it is, is it feels like, um, they have feminine, femininity with them too. That's why all of them are like, you know, attractive and stuff. Cause you know, most guys, they have that balance of masculine and feminine. Cause what I am seeing with one of them, I don't know. I would say I'm hearing scruffy with Ted. Like Ted was more, could have been more, I'm not sure, but it's like, I'm seeing that with him, but they're like Bobby and Jack could have had some hit, hidden things that they enjoyed that like have interesting sex lives. Uh, let's just put it like that. Um, very, I, I guess by curious or just, you know, I, they're, they're interesting and they would, it feels like they always explore these things, you know, in a very secretive way. Um, it, magician card, once again, not trying to put anything on anybody, but geez, y'all ask for it. I got to get used to this. I'm going to be doing trending topics, huh? <laughs> Magician card with the page of pinnacles and the six of wands. Oh, so what I'm hearing here is that to be exploratory in this way and to not be boxed off, that family understood the, the like the importance of being fluid. And um, that that's what this is. And I mean, like I said, the apples don't fall too far from the tree. And so with him, though, he's he's more uh, they're saying gracious or just wrapped into it, really. Let me see if I can get some college energy here. We can get some college life. Like, oh, he is. He's very private, very private with personal things. But uh, college here. Don't sleep 
until they're playing uh, Beastie Boys. What is it with him in these underwear? I, maybe y'all don't want to know. Maybe y'all don't want to. You guys would probably have a good time with it. He has an imagination on him, but I just, I don't know why they keep showing him like an underwear and a cape. Like he's very, di he is different, individualized. Nine of Pentacles here. Um... And, and really trying to bond with that. Page of Swords here with the Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, going up yonder to be with my Lord here. Ooh, there's some, um, there is a strong, I'm not going to say a strong, strong religion. I need a new religion. Page of Cups, Hermit card, Queen of Swords. Oh, oh. Let's just say, <laughs> this is interesting. What did y'all get me into? Let's just say um, he likes cosplay. Um, you know, it kind of expands it. I just generically can say this guy has an imagination on him. Um, there's some dressing up here. Um... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say like on some drag type stuff. That's too hard. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. That's too like, almost as if, the, if that's something that's like, mm -mm, that's too fake or something is what I'm hearing. You know, no offense to them. And that's not me saying it. I'm just saying like the descriptive, the descriptions is coming out. Yeah. Y'all don't want to, y'all listen. I mean, this will come as it comes, but y'all, y'all don't, uh, I see why some things just need to be kept where they all are. Um, so let's do one more round with him looking at his love life, but he's, he's very individualized right now. Um, he could be afraid of his his like how different he is so he just he kind of he's really sweet and he's keeping he's being real gentle with that so he do throw himself and work up they are showing what is that man name is his name sid what's that man name from off of scandal hear her friend it's not patrick <laughs> what's that man name but him is is that kind of energy but he's not Mm, yeah, he 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 got a he got a plan with all of that. He it's certain things he want to get out of the way work wise first before um, he gets all like open about his personal life. But I do feel like he will. He will. But it's once after he lock in other stuff because he wants to feel secure in his surroundings first. And once again, I am getting almost that after someone else, there's one more person left or something that has to transcend home. And it's going to shift something else, too. And it feels like he's most comfortable in that aspect as well. It's 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 almost like royalty type energy, too, when um, someone passes and someone's next in line. But for him, it's more like when someone passes. Now, these type of things could be, I wouldn't say exposed, but uh, they could be. What's the word I'm looking for? They could live in them. They could live them out. Um being themselves really four of swords with the eight of cups because i think that's also too because he was doing some type of identity search um and within his lineage as well um i feel like he found out a lot in while he was in college right that that once again their library looks completely different from other universities um almost very customary if that makes any sense it's very customized um especially pay homage to people that went there that went on to be successful people. It's like they almost have a database that that's just accessible to the people that attend the school. Um, I'm even seeing like um, uh, genetics and all that, like you could access very interesting things in this library. And I, I really feel like it's a process to even go to their, that library in, at, on Harvard's campus. I don't think it, it's a thing where it's like, if you're going for a tour and it's like, oh, I'm just, they might show you the front end of it, but it looks like there's codes and stuff to get into certain databases within, within the college there. Yeah, oath here, or is it the right or the left? Oath, something swearing in of some sorts too. So yeah, there's a commemoration coming in for him too though. And after that, that's when y'all going to see him. Shawty, get loose. Baby, do what you do. Let me see you let down your hair. I think he likes to dance, too. Uh, you know, no one knows, but 
Yep, nights are lonely. The days are so sad. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Queen of Knights, Hierophant card. Seven of Pentacles here. Who is that right there? The Lady of the Night. Who is that? Saddened all. Stop right there is what I'm hearing. So uh, this woman looks wired here. Knight of Pentacles. Is this an undercover journalist here? Someone here is kind of like snooping around. That's not going to work. I'm going to tell you why. She pulling out old school stuff. This man is not into all of that. Like she... That's not going to work. Like she's in all the little sexy lingerie and stuff like that. Man is not paying attention to that kind of stuff. He's not. Um, two of wands. Ten of wands here with the seven of swords. Uh-huh. He going to see that. If this already happened, he caught that person red-handed here. Like she likes to wear red too. That doesn't work for him. You know what it is too? I am getting that they, certain things were sent towards him and was turned right back around. Because, and that's what, another reason why he's like very private about his preferences. Because he doesn't want people doing psychological studies on him to use those type of things. To um, use those types of things against him later on. Or to take advantage of him and what it is that he do have planned to do. Um, he do understand that uh, higher end attacks, they are very energetic for one. I feel like there's a very thick study of metaphysics in Harvard is once again, that school was not like, like Yale, Harvard, all those type of Preston, is it Preston? Those, um, types of school, cool schools like that, their curriculums are not like regular universities. They're, they just aren't, they teach them about uh, quantum physics and all that kind of stuff. Um, their, their classes, it feels like to me, they, they intertwine a lot of spiritualism. Honestly, um, they may even have classes where they actually practice levitating objects and everything is damn near a mystery school inside of a school. Like the front of the school is like scholarly, but the end, the middle, the core of the school, the things is behind there is mystery schools. They, they still study like our medic principles and all that kind of stuff. Well, actually is upgraded now. If we know about it, it's something new going on. Well, it's not really something new going on, but, um, you gotta be self, self invested in order to apply it, which is why they're not afraid of that too. But with him, once again, he's so unique. No one could really, uh, no one could really use the old stuff with him and he protects his, his psyche. He protects his behavior patterns. Like he doesn't make it obvious or he doesn't make it available to people because he knows eventually they'll use it against him. And those subtle type of things where people study you, study your psyche and your, your uh, psychological behavior and all that kind of stuff. That's where, um, that's where they can really fool people in the media because they, they could just set stuff up around you because they understand how triggers and stuff work. They could just throw you in an environment with uh, ingredients that will cause a, a windstorm of some sorts. And then it just looks like you did it on your own, but they're like puppet people, like p pulling the puppet strings behind your puppeteers. Are they the puppeteers? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so he's, that's why he's very private too, in that sense as well. He's under, he's understanding that King of Pentacles here with the star card structure here with the strength card and the Ace of Wands here. So yeah, he is uh, after some type of, is a massive amount. There's some uh, huge news coming out, right? There's either a huge ceremony that could range from anything to a commemoration to someone else in the family transcending home. And after that, you guys will see him be more um, public because he'll feel locked in to do that. And also on top of that too, it could be both, you know, there could be a commemoration that comes up and then someone transcends home or, or one before the other, or one, both could happen at the same time. But all in all here, there will be something that will lock in that, um, will cause him to be more open and public. And um, he feels like um, you guys will love his personality. He's very youthful. He, and he just, he has all these ideas. He's more, he's playful. Um, he's a big kid. It feels like he likes uh, junk food. Um, yeah, I don't think he eats like, he eats like a kid. Um, they just keep showing a kid running around in underwear and a cape. That's it. Like he's, he's a kid at heart still, but he didn't want anybody to, um, take advantage of that. He understands the, the importance of protecting his innocence to a pinnacles here with the, uh, hangman here. So once again, this is a, I'm hearing Jack lantern Hey, and they call him Jack, right? Okay. Um, so yeah, he's, and he's being extra careful during the, the Halloween, um, all the stuff around that time. Um, 
as well. He's being very careful with his energy then too. But yeah, there's, um, I mean, he's, he's just right now kind of keeping it steady, concrete, ground, keeping himself grounded. He looks like he's working on a scholarly stuff, just but it's, it's the boring stuff. He's not even excited about that kind of stuff. He just he just gets a kick out of um, kind of feeding it a little bit until it's over. Chariot card here with the Queen of Cups. Oh, is his mom still here? If so, um, you know, this is her in the chariot here as well. But it looks peaceful. You know what I'm saying? It looks peaceful. I'm not trying to scare anybody. There's no death. It's just her in the chariot. And it looks like she's operating this chariot fine. And, you know, in a great way, um, it looks, you know, it looks uh, honorary, really, you know, no distress. Yeah. Yep. Peaceful, peaceful transitions um, to her own, her, like she like has control, you know, so it won't be traumatic, her transcending in any kind of way. Let's just put it like that. Any kind of transformations here, but here's the high priestess with the knight of swords here and the page of cups here. Yep. So this is his relationship with his mom here. So, I mean, it could be, could be something like that if she's still here with us. And if she's not spirit, I mean, how can I interpret this? I mean, she could be guiding him, but I don't feel that. I feel that she still, I didn't even look to read that. I try not to read too much. You know what I'm saying? I, I do. All right, let's get some final messages here. Alexa, stop. So it's 10 o'clock there. So there is a, a completion here. Um, they're playing a circle of life here. So there is a, a completion here coming up. There is something coming in full circle. And then you, you guys will see him like cutting up a lot. <laughs> he, he's so scared people isn't going to like it though. He's a guy just... He's, oh my God, he's so different. Like he's a, like, he's the pull my finger guy or smell my feet <laughs> kind of guy. Um, sometimes he, he's afraid he could be a little too overwhelming playfully for people. But um, when it's time for him to get down to business and focus, he could switch in and out very well. He's very good with that. But he's the person that feels like to me that when it's really time to be serious too, he can, he can lighten the mood as well too. So... Eight of Swords here. So he's going to go on a, a freedom and restoration campaign here. Yep. And plug in the way he wants. But he, he when he comes in, he's going to come in full throttle. So, yeah, right now it just looks like uh, Jack is uh, chilling and uh, just doing his scholarly stuff. He thinks it's so boring, but he's just, you know, fulfilling whatever it is he needs to right now. But he do. He got some corks with him. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for your request. Thanks for the challenge. My name is Diamond. You're watching Pretty Blind Eyes and I'll see you next go around. Bye.